I'm at Bergen, Harley Davidson Bergen. First time I'm gonna see 2023 models. I've only seen them in videos. The not, I haven't seen them on the showroom. So first time for me to see all the new colors, the new bikes. A lot of 22 and 23 models still on the floor. Beautiful colors, the new ones. Here you have a good example of the Fat Boy floorboards. These are the floorboards that I put on my bike, on the ST, but I got, uh, and I blacked out the, uh, the brake pedal right there. And the 115th anniversary edition has these blacked out.
Rolls, gray, silver, not sure I forgot what the name is, but it's a very nice color. Well, I've got to see in person uh, the paints, the carryover paints. I haven't seen any uh, 120th edition colors over here. But in real life, uh, colors look really, really good. I like a lot of combination, a lot of schemes, color schemes are cool. And this, this silver or gray is really nice. I just got back uh, from visiting Bergen Harley Davidson. At one stage, I was I felt kind of uncomfortable. I was walking between the bikes, and they had the 2022 models and 2023 models mixed upon uh, mixed within uh, each other, and I was wasn't quite sure which one was 22 and which one was 23. I was like, wow, I'm not really, you know, up to par. I don't really know to tell the difference between a 22 and 23. Then I got home, I realized there, there's absolutely no difference. There, they, it's the same, same bike, same model. The only difference is the color. So that is uh, the criticism. I don't want to say criticism, but that's the part of the things that I've uh, been saying in regards to the 20 to the 120th uh, anniversary release when uh, I didn't see much difference. I want to show you a little idea, a little concept that I had. Maybe you got to see it in a short that I did. And it's coming from a, a completely positive criticism or positive feedback. How maybe Harley can gain new young riders. So take a look. The 2023 Harley Striker. That exactly, that is exactly what I had in mind. Hoping at this 120 reveal. Harley. You want young blood, you want young new riders in the family. Make an affordable bike, take your classic look. Other companies did that. Since 1901, Royal Enfield has built bikes like that. You are just the same. You can build bikes, get one bike, cool, cool looking, retro looking, a single, don't make it expensive and get young riders in. Pretty much a single, like the Harley Davidson Hummers from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, same design. The luxury lightweight of the Harley Davidson star studded lineup is the Super Deluxe Model 165. Here's the lightweight that has everything, power, safety, good looks, as well as economy of operation. Luxury features like the Teleglide, telescopic front fork, that makes every ride a pleasure. Battery generator lighting and high output ignition system for greater safety night and day. Big brakes front and rear, the best braking power in its class. A rugged, long lasting multiple disc clutch designed for years of service. Big lights front and rear for top visibility and safety. And a jewel of an engine that's loaded with 165 cubic centimeters of smooth go power. An efficient, smooth operating engine that features deep finned aluminum cylinder head, an effective air cleaner, plus a choke for easy starting. Sum it all up, and you have the top lightweight of the two wheel world. The Model 165, top features and top value. Royal Enfields builds these and sells these for $5,000. Harley being a more luxurious brand, build it, sell it for seven, $8,000. You get young people in, make a simple bike. You can do it just like them. Look how cool this bike is. Just look how cool this bike is.
understand the Harley wants to be uh, considered as a luxury vehicle. Fine. Even Porsche has an entry-level car, the Boxster. You know that. Get young people in with a lower entry price and get them hooked on the brand and then they grow. You gotta get young people in with an affordable price.